couple of parts just came in. There's my suction cup, <clears throat> my new LCD screen, uh, and you're gonna need a multi, you know, multi driver unit with the little Phillips head. I've got a hair dryer here. The first thing I'm gonna do is the back of my MacBook. I'm gonna take these. Uh, so I got ten screws back here. We'll take them out and take the back off. It's the first thing I'm going to do. All right, I decided to leave one screw in the back holding the back on because I'm going to turn the MacBook up like this. And around the edges of the uh, the glass, there's an epoxy that I'm going to take a hair dryer and I'm going to heat that up. And then I'm going to use my suction cup to help lift with the glass while I use a credit card to slide underneath it to pull it off. All right, after using the blow dryer and running a credit card, <clears throat> around the glass area here to get the adhesive loose. This last little bit seems to be the biggest problem. And it's because you can't really get the credit card in there any other way than I just there we go. And there we have it. The glass is out. There's the L C D screen. Back of the MacBook with the battery right here. Your hard drive and your optical drive here. Your fan back here in the back, this little bitty plug right here, that's your video cable. And if you can see, there's a little metal clip there that's got to be unlatched, but it's got a handle, a little tab. You pull that tab up, and it unlatches the latch. Now this is tiny, you can see, and then it's got a tab to pull the cable out of its plug. Now I've got to remove the bracket that holds the wire in so they have a little slack on the other side. <clears throat> and it's just two little Phillips head screws right there and right here. So I'm sorry it turned out this way, but I had a really hard time filming the rest of this video uh, as I was working. But the next thing I did after removing the glass was the LCD screen. There were four screws, um, six screws actually, two on either side and two on the bottom. And then you lift the screen up. And just like on the motherboard, there is a um, little connection you got to unclip and reclip. Um, then you go back into the back of the motherboard and plug the cable back in. And, of course, put the glass back on and use the heat gun. But be really careful because I melted some keys using the heat gun so close to them. But anyway... You saw what my MacBook looked like before. Here's the MacBook with the new LCD screen in. And I got this, this LCD screen. You're looking at it right here. It's a 13 inch LCD screen. This one's a shot one. But um, at powerbookmedic.com, I'm going to put a link below. It was 129 bucks. The cheapest place I found that would fix this was like 275 and you've got to ship it to Miami. Uh, and then they'll have it for God knows how long. If you want to do it yourself, there are plenty of tutorials, which I'll leave links below to. Um, it took me about an hour and a half, but this is my first one. I was afraid of breaking this glass. And even if you break the glass, the glass is only 55 bucks. But, um, yeah, for um, buying the plunger, the uh, LCD screen, and... Um, Shipping overnight, it was 150 bucks, 129 for the screen, uh, like four dollars for the plunger, and thirty dollars to ship it. Anyway, there's the MacBook Pro looking beautiful. So now I can watch TV and use the MacBook as opposed to using the MacBook on the TV. Anyway, it's Booty the Drunk Guitarist, and uh, sorry that I didn't get to film all the rest of it, but. Uh, like I said, I'm going to leave other videos below. And I'm going to leave a link to PowerBook Medic below. And if you got this problem, either fix it yourself or 
Fuck, contact me for $275. I'll fix it for you.